Hello and welcome to this workshop video all about the results of my happiness survey. As I was gearing up to make this workshop, I wanted to figure out a way to make it as helpful to as many people as possible. So I devised a Google form survey and I blasted it out to a ton of social media and it asked a bunch of questions about happiness and self-love and all kinds of different things. And I'm definitely going to be talking about this survey throughout the workshop as I address certain topics. First off, to everybody who took the survey, thank you so much. I got almost 300 responses and that is so crazy. I got a wide range of not not only genders, but of ages. And all of those responses really helped to broaden the scope of this project and make it as helpful as it could be, and hopefully to as many people as possible. If you filled out my survey, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot to me that you took the time to help me out with my project. I'm gonna show you some charts from some of the questions. As I go through, I have three charts for each question. I have a all responses one, I have a male one, and I have a female one. I did get some other gender specifications, but but there weren't very many, so I thought that adding them would just be like a chart of five people, and that's not very helpful when seeing a broad base. That's why I included the all responses, because that's a wider number of people, and the chart will be more data than just a few people. Does that make sense? I don't want to offend anyone, but that's how I've done it. As for the basic statistics of who the heck took my survey, here's the chart for the question, what do you identify as? I've got 76.1% female, 21.8% male, I've got a couple who prefer not to say, I've got an Apache attack helicopter and then genderqueer male and genderqueer. Here's the chart for ages. This one makes me really happy that I got such a wide range of ages. Though most of them are 15 to 24. I'm assuming that's like the people who go to my school mostly. I truly got such a broad age range and I think that it's so wonderful that people from all walks of life are willing to help an 18 year old girl make a project about happiness. So truly, thank you. All right, I'm gonna scoot a little over here now so that I can be putting my charts like in this area of the screen. Let's go through. For the question, do you consider yourself a happy person? From all of my responses, 87.2 2% said yes and 12.8% said no. For the female results, 89.1% said yes and 10.9% said no. And for the male results, 82.4% said yes and 17.6% said no. Here's the bar graph for all of the responses and the question, on average, how happy do you feel? Most people land at about a 7.5 to 8.5, so an eight. For female results of that same question, it's the same. Most people land at about 7.5 to 8.5. Male results are on average a little bit lower for daily happiness, which I thought was interesting. Most are at the 7.5, where on the others, most are at the 8.5. I'm not sure why men are less happy on an average day, but apparently they are. Men, how can I help you be happier on a daily basis? For the question, do you love yourself and all of the responses, 23% said no and 77% said yes. As far as female males, 22.5% said no and 77.5% said yes. And as far as males, 23.9% said no and 76.1% said yes. For the question, do you enjoy your life and all of my responses, 69.3% said yes, 28.6% said sometimes, and the rest said no. So no is a pretty small fraction, which is a good thing. For the females, 69.9% said yes, 28.3% said sometimes, and again, a really small fraction of people who said no. And for the males, 68.2% said yes, 30.3% said sometimes, and once again, a small fraction of no's. So I'm glad that most people are enjoying their lives nowadays. Those are some of my survey results. There's only so much data analysis I can do using Google Forms, so I would have loved to do a more detailed analysis, and I did go through and read all of their responses. For the written ones, I compiled definitions and really, really read all of the responses. It took me a long time, but I wanted to be thorough and I wanted to make sure that everyone's voice was heard and that they had an input in my project. One of the questions was if you have anything you want to see in this workshop and you're gonna see a lot of those suggestions realized. I want to give you a fair warning that I can't get to everything and quite frankly I can't answer everything. There are a lot of questions that people ask me that I just have no knowledge about and that I can't possibly answer and though I wish that I could I don't know everything. I'm going to address the things that I feel confident I can put my two cents in at and I want to thank everyone for taking my survey. I'm sorry if I can't get to your question. I'm doing my best here to address as much as I can. Thank you so much to everyone who took my survey. Thank you for watching. Go do something that makes you happy today. Please enjoy the rest of my workshop and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye!